What up, y'all? Thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Ask me GTV. This is the episode where we take your questions when you hashtag those bad boys Ask BGTV and we answer them here on camera. Quickly uh, and officially. Yeah, so let's get right into the <laughs> questions because we have a lot coming. First question. Carlos Ferrero, I'm guessing the answer, but I'm having a hard time building a good looking butt. <laughs> my leg workout is pretty intense and my overall legs are good. Would it work for me to do Jess's butt program? Sorry if it's kind of awkward. <laughs> Not awkward at all. Like I think the ladies would tell you that ladies want a guy with a booty. Of course. And you will get a booty by doing leg workouts like you're doing, but sometimes you may not be doing them right, you may not be doing the right exercises. So I would say yes. Jess's program is not just for females. It's yeah. just marketed to females because it's made by Jessica. Because that's what ladies usually do. But want. it works for guys too. So Absolutely. don't be embarrassed to pick out build a butt now. Yeah, com. and I've actually had a lot of guys buying the program, like surprisingly. So I didn't think a lot of guys would buy it, but they do buy it. So don't feel like you're alone if you pick <laughs> up a copy of this program because other guys are doing it too. Next question from Drew Stark. He says, uh, two questions. We need you guys to keep them to one question, but maybe this was asked a while ago. Yeah. Um, I suppose you're in maintenance. How many calories are you eating? Um, and how does that change on your off days? Uh, so we answered this last week's question. I'm eating about 24 to 2600 calories, and on off days, it's basically about the same, because on off days, I'm still pretty active as well. If you really are trying to dial it in and make a change in your body, um, on your days off, you'd go a little bit lower because you really not you need that much energy. And your second question was, kicks for weightlifting and sprinting. So I answered this question for you before. Um, so you're gonna have to go back to another episode and check that out. All right, so Winnie wants to know, I just started cooking and eating chicken breasts. I start out with a whole piece. By the time I take it out of the pan, it looks like it has shrunken. Is it just me? What <laughs> ways can I prevent this from happening? All right, Winnie, that is a good question. And yes, any meat is going to sort of shrink when you cook it because some of the water is evaporated by the heat. So don't be alarmed. This is completely normal. And if you're new to cooking, you know, just know that that happens to everybody. It's so not shrink, weird at all. Shrinkage is okay. Shrinkage is okay. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> Dan Rosen would like to know, hey guys, I'm on a Live Lean Afterburn program and doing a caloric deficit. However, I still get about one to 1.5 grams of high quality protein per pound of body weight daily. Would BCAAs be a useful addition to my supplements or my protein intake is already sufficient? Yeah, so that's a very good question. So if you are eating that much protein, you're probably okay with BCAs, but since you are in a calorie deficit, and I'm not quite sure what your goal is, if it's probably to lose some, some weight, um, and not lose muscle, Looking BCAs. Fit in your picture, though. <laughs> BCAs could help you. So it's one of those things. You got to test it out, see if you notice a difference. If you feel like that calorie deficit is making you look smaller from a fat and a muscle pers perspective, then yes, add in the BCAs. But if you're not noticing any muscle loss, that protein is probably sufficient for you. So stick with that. Okay, next question from Minhi Park. Hey B and J, here's my question. Um, I could not work out for a month since I was sick. So um, during that time, I just went for walking and stretching. I think it's about time to start again. Could you give some advices to beginners on how to restart? Oh yeah, restarting is definitely tough. I would say my advice is just to take it slow and don't push yourself beyond um, your, you know, your current capabilities. I mean, you do have to push yourself a little bit, but just don't push yourself to the breaking point because you don't want to re-injure yourself. So it's tricky finding that balance between pushing yourself enough to get results and not pushing too hard. So just be careful, pay close attention, really focus on what you can do and how far you can go and, and you'll get back eventually. Never give up, that's my other advice, is just don't give up. It's going to be hard, but it's worth it. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. Okay, Alejandra Tapia. Hi guys, I have a doubt about breakfast. I wake up five at five in the morning and go to school and I've tried hard to get used to having breakfast but I really do not have an appetite in the early morning. I have a break at 10. Would it be fine if I have my breakfast at that time or should I keep trying to eat when I wake up? Thanks guys, love your video. Okay, so there's two ways that you can do this. Um, one way, if you don't eat your breakfast, you're pretty much doing what's called intermittent fasting, which does work for some people where they'll expand the, uh, the, the, the non-eating window until 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning before they have the first meal. That works for some people, so if that's the, the case for you and you're liking the results, stick with it. But if you do want to consume breakfast 
in the morning because you feel tired and lethargic and you don't have much energy. It just is one of those things that when you eat breakfast, you're not gonna like it the first day, maybe not the second, the third, or fourth, but you will eventually program your body to actually need the food in the morning. I was never a breakfast person until I got into fitness and now it's like, I get up and it's what I have to do. So it's just, you have to get your body there. Next question from Alex Rosinska. I like your last name, but I can't pronounce it right. <laughs> uh, will you or Jess be teaching any classes or anything we can attend in the LA area, even if it's just once? Possibly another meet and greet in the park like you guys did in the past. Hint, hint. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and I know Alex and I have already talked on Facebook okay. uh, about this. Yeah, about so I am teaching that Friday class. I have a class now Fridays at 6 p.m. at a local place around here. It's in LA, close to the beach. You can put a comment down below and I'll get back to you with more details about it. It's really fun. It's functional training. It's in a really awesome studio. And uh, yeah, it's just a really good time. And I'd love to meet you guys in person because we just love that you're watching our YouTube videos, but meeting you in person would be really great. Blaze. Sardinelli says, does wearing different clothes enhance your workouts? I like wearing a hoodie and sweatpants compared to a tank and shorts. <laughs> all right, well, the gym that we go to, we go to Gold's Venice, <laughs> and all of the big bodybuilders wear exactly what you said you're, wear you're wearing is the tank or the uh, hoodie and the sweatpants. Oh, wait, he said like wearing a hoodie compared to a tank. He doesn't say what he likes. Oh, okay. Sorry, but anyway, I read that wrong. Yeah, so anyway, um, so all the big bodybuilders <laughs> are doing that, but yeah. then the fitness and physique guys are kind of like the tanks and the shorts because they want to see uh, where the bodybuilders are covering up their muscle because they don't want to show them quite yet because maybe they're not as diced yet. But one thing with workout clothes is you have to be comfortable in what you're wearing because it can really actually like give you more motivation if I know the story we read Arnold Schwarzenegger's book was he was wearing, he was always lagging in calves. So he would wear shorts, so he'd always look at his calves and be like, you damn calves aren't growing, so he'd like push them to push even harder. Or so like if his belly was too fat, he'd wear it, like a crop top, yeah. so that every time he sat down, he would see that fat belly and yeah. work it harder. So it's really personal <laughs> preference. I'm more the guy that I'm wearing shorts and tag tops because yeah. I, you know, that's just what the way that I like it. We and, like our skin to breathe. And, and, to breathe. and be able to move and jump around and function and yeah. you know <laughs> so it's, whatever you're comfortable yeah good question but it's basically it's personal preference okay next question from shannon t hi guys quick question how do you cook your sweet potato i've always mashed but now i'm trying to bake how long would you bake it for and at what temp awesome question we actually just had yeah. sweet potato baked but um we have this new method where we use a Cuisinart to we, slice it really thin and, and that's we, been we, awesome. Yeah, we talked about it on BGTV. Yeah, that's in our daily vlog channel. So if you're not watching our daily vlogs, go check them out now because we share tons of cool little tips like that. Another way we like to have sweet potatoes is to slice them thin and make like sweet potato fries baked. Yeah. But the answer is really always baked. We, yeah, we never boil them and we don't fry them. We just always bake yeah, them. Yeah, we don't microwave them either. Yeah, we never use the microwave. So yeah. that's our short answer for sweet potatoes. So it's at at, yeah, it's at about 400 to 425 degrees. Yeah, because they do take a while. On a pan, parchment paper, put some coconut oil spray on it, some oh, spices, so and they're absolutely delicious. Yeah, we like that better than mashed. So thank you guys for all your questions. That's thank another you. episode. Um, if we haven't got your question yet, guys, we just have a list. We're just going down the list. We're not making We're pre preferential treatment <laughs> here to anybody. Um, so hashtag them, ask BGTV. We'll get to them. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you at next week's, but also we'll be back back again tomorrow with another daily vlog so we'll see you then love you guys Mwah. have a great night look at the baguette at work Magic. so you use this little pokey thingy and poke it in the butt and then you